Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and this is the next video tutorial of your uh, inventory management system and in this types just I am going to first of all uh, discuss about the vendor type you know that and uh, just I want to tell you about the vendor type now just I am going to tell about the vendor types repository uh, before going to much more detail just I want to tell you about the vendor types Actually, vendor types refers to the different types of suppliers or the vendors that a business may work with a acquire inventory or raw material. Here are some uh, common types of vendors uh, looking like that. Uh, if you notice that a vendor have a manufacturer, so these are the vendors who produce the products or raw material that a business needs. Manufacturers may produ uh, produce the products th uh, themselves or they may outsource production to be the third party uh, the second types of uh, vendors that is the wholesalers wholesalers buy products in the bulk from manufacturers and sell them to the businesses at the lower cost than retail prices wholesales are a common source of inventory for the retailers and other businesses okay so the next uh, vendor types that is the distributor Distributors are similar to wholesalers in that they buy product in bulk and sell them to businesses. However, distributors may also offer additional services such as the marketing, logistics and the customer support. And the fourth type is the dropshippers. Dropshippers are a vendor who sells product online and ship them directly to the customer. Dropshippers typically do not hold inventory themselves but instead rely on suppliers to fulfill orders and the next one is the broker you know brokers are vendors who help businesses find and negotiate deals with the supplier they may help businesses find new supplier negotiate pricing and terms and manage relationship with the vendors so by understanding the different types of vendors businesses and make informed decisions about where to source their inventory and raw material uh, additionally, inventory management systems can help business to track vendor relationship and manage the pro uh, uh, procure uh, department. If you uh, certainly about the payment type, uh, you know that the vendors is okay. So uh, here we have similarly with the vendor types. Mm, controller just I'm going to design the controller of the vendor type so services are uh, looking fine and after that you have to design the vendor types controller and in the vendor types controller we have some uh, action methods like index and uh, mm, uh, create vendor types and edit vendor types like the CRUD operations of the vendors okay so before going to the CRUD operations you know that everything is similar with the build types mm, and uh, because the, they are the similar but the scenario of or the agenda of the vendor and the bills is different so design the um, controller that is vendor type controller like added uh, CRUD operations on the vendor types so if you want to know if you want to uh, focus on the manufacturers only because the manufacturer is a type of the vendor so manufacturers are companies that create finished products or raw material from the raw material or compound you can say so they are a crucial part of the supply chain and play a significant role in the production and distribution of goals uh, if you know about uh, manufacturers key points and the characteristics like the production of the finished goods manufacturers are responsible for creating finished products uh, from the raw material or compounds they typically have specialized equipment and the production process they allow them to create high quality products efficiently if you know about the quality control that is the manufacturer part so manufacturers are responsible for ensuring that they, their products meet quality standards they may have in the house quality control processes or the work with the third party quality control organizations to ensure their products meet industry standards and the uh, next one is in the manufacturer that is cost control so manufacturers must manage cost to ensure that they can produce products uh, profitability they may use various cost control techniques such as the optimizing production process or sourcing raw material from the low cost suppliers the next one is the innovations 
मैन्युफैक्चरर में इन्वेस्ट इन रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट टू क्रिएट न्यू प्रोडक्ट्स और इंप्रूव एग्जिस्टिंग वंस दे मे आल्सो वर्क विद द अदर बिजनेसेस टू डेवलप कस्टमाइजिंग प्रोडक्ट्स और कंपाउंड्स सो दी दैट इज द फीचर्स ऑफ योर मैन्युफैक्चररस नो दैट दैट दीस ऑल आर यू कैन से दैट वेंडर टाइप्स सो जस्ट आई एम गोइंग टू आल्सो डिजाइन द वेंडर टाइप्स so you can say that manufacturer is a big uh, part of your inventory management system and uh, there are some other uh, key features of your uh, manufacturer that is distribution manufacturer may sell their products directly to consumer or um, distributor them through uh, intermediary such as the wholesaler distributor or retailers so and the next key feature that is compliance of the manufacturers so compliance manufacturers must comply with the various laws and regulations related to the product safety environmental impact and the labor practices they may work with the regulatory agencies or the third party organization to ensure compliances so you know that the manufacturers is working like that and if you want to know that the wholesaler wholesaler is actually is a part you know that uh, wholesalers jo hai uh, wholesalers are business businesses that buy products in bulk from manufacturers and sell them to the other businesses at lower lower cost than retail prices they typically purchase products in the large quantities and then break them uh, down into the smaller quantities for resale so, so uh, also a wholesaler is a types of characteristics okay so that is the vendor type and there is the lots of key features available and just i'm going to the next part that is payment payment is also a must uh, types and here we have a lots of types of the payments okay so first of all before going to much more detail about the um, uh, you know that um, in the payment types first of all initialize uh, a list of your vendor types and just type that vendor and here this time going to add uh, asp actions as well as asp controller in the vendor type list in the navigation so so that you can just directly navigate to the uh, list okay so there there is a task okay everything is fine now after that you will run your project and you will see the output okay so that is the very big uh, so i think it's very uh, uh, i think it's very uh, cool uh, things to add uh, vendor types in the list so it's a very fine uh, tune and here you will find the vendor types so first of all just i'm going to uh, discuss about the uh, types of things like the customer types like sales types like vendor types like purchase type like payment types and all so after that we will design the basic rules okay and we will design the basic things so the next one is to do that is the payment type so uh, just i'm going to about uh, payment type repository payment type view model similar like the bill view model so um, according to the build type view model uh, just i am going to design the payment types and if you know about the payment types because the payment types you can add in the list uh, in the future so uh, how many pay payment types are there in uh, inventory management system so payment payment type refers to the different types of supplier or vendor that a businesses may work sorry it's a vendor type actually uh you know that payment type uh, are you can say uh, is commonly used inventory management system that is the cash cash is a payment type cash payments are a uh, popular payments type especially for the small transaction they are fast and simple but can pose a security risk and they are vulnerable to theft and the fraud okay and the next one is the credit and debit card credit and debit card payments are widely used and can be processed quickly but uh, can incur fees and require a payment processor to handle the transaction the next one is online payments 
Online payments methods such as PayPal or Stripe are becoming increasingly popular. These payments are fast, secure and can be processed from anywhere in the world. However, they can also incur fees and require integration with the payment gateway. The next one is gift card or coupon gift. Gift cards and the coupons are a great way to drive customer loyalty and incentivize purchase. They can be used as a partial or the full payment for the products and can be tracked using inventory management system. Purchase order. Purchase order are commonly used in B2B transaction where a customer order a large quantity of products at once. These order typically require payment terms such as 30 days net, which means that the customer has 30 days to pay for the products after they are delivered. And the next one payment type is installment payments. Installment payments, I mean to say, uh, payments allow customer to pay for a product over time. In multiple payments, these payments can be tracked using an inventory management system, which can also help to manage their customer balance and notify them to upcoming payments. Okay, so uh, the most popular that is there are uh, that is the online payments. Okay, and the credit and debit card payments, there are the most popular. Uh, if you know about the uh, actually credit and debit card payments are the popular payments method you know that for the businesses and the consumer uh, like here uh, there are the some key features also and payment processing that is the uh, payment processing or you can say that debit card payments are processed through a payment gateway okay so uh, here I am using that is uh, payment type repository on the behalf of payment type view model. So uh, here we have a payment type view model, payment type list view model, payment type uh, create payment type view model. You know that. So, so here we have payment type view model. Okay. Now, uh, just I am going to tell you about the uh, payment types like the credit and debit card features. So if you want to uh, integrate payment types like credit and debit card, so payment processing is the first part of your credit and debit card payments are processed through a payment gateway, which authorizes the transaction and transaction funds between the customer's bank account and the business's bank account. Uh, the second part is the more uh, that is security. Credit and debit card payments must be secure to prote uh, protect against fraud and unauthorized charges. Payment gateway use encryption and other security measures to ensure that payment information to keep secure. Okay, so uh, that is the next term. Fee. Credit and debit card payment typically incur fee which uh, are paid by the business's acceptment and uh, um, payment uh, accepting the payments. The fee vary depending on the payment process processor. Uh, the type of the card used and the amount of the transactions okay uh, the next one is the speed credit and debit card payments are processed quickly which makes them a convenient payment options for customer and can help businesses to process payment more efficiently the next one is inter uh, international transactions credit and debit card payments can be used for international transactions which can makes it easier for businesses to sell products to customer in other countries. The next one is chargebacks. Chargebacks occurs when a customer disputes a charge and the payments is refunded. Businesses must manage chargebacks carefully to avoid losing re uh, revenue and damaging their reputations. So chargebacks is also a part of this. So by accepting the credit and debit card payments, businesses can provide a convenient payment options for their customers and streamline their payment processing. Okay, so that is that uh, basic types for the payment types. And you know that very well designed the payment types repository, payment types uh, that is the repository and interfaces in with the dependence injection I am going to use here and uh, very well. Okay, so everything is fine. So the next one is update. Payment type view model, um, it's you know that it's a, it's a basic red operations, you know. Okay, 
so uh, that is the more convenient about about the payment types that is your the credit and the uh, debit card uh, online payment is also a, uh, a good thing but if you know about the gift and the coupons of the payment types gift and coupons you know gift and uh, coupons is also a trending topics uh, now a days but if you know that gift cards and coupons are popular way for the business to uh, incentivize customers to make purchase and can help drive customer loyalty because there are lots of key features of the uh, you know that uh, if you if you adding the features of credit card and the uh, sorry if you adding the features of uh, gift cards and the coupons prepaid values like prepaid values gift cards and coupons have a prepaid value that can be re, re, uh, redeemed for products or services at a later time. They can be used as partial or full payment for the products depending on the terms on the gift card or the coupons. So here we have the features like that. So um, just adding the payment types view model according to the bill types view model, you know that it's uh, in the code. So uh, if you that that is the next key feature of the gift card also customization. Gift cards and co uh, coupons can be customized with the different designs and uh, uh, denomination, uh, denominations making them a versatile marketing tools also. And third one is distribution. Gift cards and coupons can be distributed through a variety of channels such as email, social media and the physical mail. The next one is redemptions. Gift cards and coupons can be redeemed in store or online depending on the terms of the gift card or the coupon. Businesses must carefully manage the redemptions process to ensure that the prepaid value is accurately re reordered. The next one is expiration dates. Gift cards and coupons may have expiration dates, which can encourage customers to redeem their uh, them before they expire. Businesses must manage expiration dates carefully to avoid losing revenue uh, and dim uh, damaging customer relationship. So that is also a feature of. Uh, uh the types okay so it's a basic uh, types you can say now um, if you uh, want to more about uh, you know that uh, bill types payment types and there is a repository so don't forget if you want to uh, design the complete inventory management system with me then don't forget please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon that is the necessary task for you and uh, if you want to ask me anything via the comment then I will uh, I will respond back to you as soon as possible okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ESP.NET Core and inventory management system okay so uh, the further videos is actually uh, is the basic um, types of the build type you know uh, it's a basic things you can add in uh, with your code okay so uh, it's a inventory management system so there is a lots of uh, actually it's an ERP project and you know that ERP ERP uh, stands for Enterprise Resource Planning, which is a software system that in integrates various businesses, process and functions into a single system. So that is the ERP. And the goal of the ERP system is, uh, is uh, to stream businesses operations and uh, you know that and provide a comprehensive view of the organization to resources such as the finance, inventory, customer information and all. So, if you want to learn many more about the inventory management system, so must to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon because it's a lots of uh, things I want to add in this project. Okay, so don't lose your hope. I will complete all the uh, parts one by one, but but uh, I want uh, uh, need of your support. So don't uh, forget. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other inventory management systems. Thank you very much for watching.